get a one PhD here. Earlier, I actually created a video about this Dell WD19TB dock. Now, this is a Thunderbolt dock, and I loaded it up Ubuntu, which is a Linux operating system, onto this Dell Latitude 5401 and to see how that reacts natively. And I had some promising results. And if you haven't checked that video out, I'll put a link in the description below so you can see that. Now, just to shortcut it very quickly, I did manage to get triple monitors set up on that configuration there. Now, I've also got the WD19 non-Thunderbolt version, and I was very interested to see how that reacts as well too. And I've got that currently connected up, and I've got my triple monitors set up. Their triple monitors are all 24 inch, and they only can do full HD at the moment. So I haven't got a 4K monitor there. Maybe later on, I will be able to invest in a 4K monitor, but at the moment, it's only 24 inch monitors there. The easy way to identify the difference between the WD19 and the WD19TB dock is the front of it you'll see the Thunderbolt symbol on the Thunderbolt version of the dock which is the WD19TB and if you flip onto its back end here you'll see the Thunderbolt port on the WD19TB whereas the WD19 non-Thunderbolt version is missing the port there. With the WD19 dock I've got two display port monitor connected, HMI port monitor connected, and two USBs connected for my mouse and keyboard, and of course the power to the dock as well. So let's connect the laptop to the WD19 dock. So let's, it's just a USB-C port there, so I'll just connect that up to the computer. Now I may need to actually turn the computer on, so I'm just going to use the power button on the dock itself, and it should mirror the power button on your laptop there. In Windows it normally does, and in Linux it does as well, which is great. So the Linux operating system I'm using is the Ubuntu 18.04. So that's good there. So let's just turn that on, log in. All right, I've only got one monitor set up at the moment. So let's go to the settings file and check how to enable the second monitor there. So settings, and the devices, screen display, and just pulling it out. I do see all three external monitors listed there, which is fantastic. And I'm just gonna hit number three, turn that on. That should be my display port, which is the one on the right. I've just applied it. I've, oh, it has turned on, which is great. So I've just keep changes. So I've got one and two, that's dual screen. So I have the lid closed for the time being. Later on, I will put the lid open to see if we can get the built-in screen working as well too. So let's try and enable the third external monitor. So that comes as not this external monitor and that is HDMI port. So I'll just turn that on and let's just apply and see what I get. So I've managed to get HDMI and display port but the third monitor is not showing up and that's the display port as well. So it looks to be, I'm just gonna revert back to settings. So I'm only able to get two display working here. So that's actually a little bit interesting there. I'm going to flip the lid open. So I'm gonna get the display. So, so far only on the external monitors only, I'm only able to get dual screen there. So I'm just flipped the lid open. It's reset all the configurations for the monitors. So I'm just going to turn on the display port monitor. I'll turn that on, apply with the lid open. And I haven't got the built-in screen turned on yet, but we'll see that. So I've got the display for these external monitors. So now let's turn on the built-in screen, see how that reacts. Built-in screen, turn that on, apply. Let's see how that goes. Oh, I've got built-in screen already and I've got dual external monitors. Excellent, I'll keep setting. So that's three displays there. So two display ports and the built-in screen, which is great. So let's go to, I know this is probably not gonna work, but I'll give it a go anyway. I'm gonna turn on the HDMI port for the third external display. So two. Turn on. I don't even get the apply button there, so it doesn't look like it's able to do the third screen there. I am just going to try something really interesting to see if I can get the display port and the HDMI port. Of course, I'm going to probably more than likely lose one, but let's see how that goes in a way. So I've got HDMI port, HDMI port, and the display port. Let's put in this built in screen. 
on apply good stuff all right I can see the awesome so I can do display port HDMI and built-in screen so it does look like in those different configurations it is able to handle dual external screens and the built-in screen so it looks like it's maxed out is only dual external screens and the built-in screen so that's pretty good results I can see the USBs are working as well and the Ethernet and also the audio as well is working I've tested before hope you find this informative and enjoyed it give it a like if you haven't done already subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner screen I do try to upload a new video every Tuesdays and just remember imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting I'll see you next video